here is my latest design. Right now it's just named the uh, Silly Pistol. Um, don't have a name for it yet, but this is a not mag in grip, normal mag uh, pistol. Um, it uses a mechanism similar to the Lynx, where basically it has a ram right here that is connected to the bottom of this slide and it goes in and out, and it can push a dart in. The darts are basically right here. Uh, if you look at the magazine, the darts are like right here-ish. And then it has basically a Lynx turnaround, but instead of the plunger tube coming this way, the plunger tube is coming this way. This is basically a Lynx turnaround where normally the plunger tube goes in here. I just flipped it like that, and then I made it so the plunger tube goes in from here as opposed to from here. And then the ram is connected to the bottom of the slide, like I said. Barrel comes out that, which is why the plunger tube is here and the barrel is here, offset by about an inch-ish. Um, it has a grip, very similar to a Calvern V4 uh, T4 Talonclaw. Um, edited a bunch, but similar enough because I really like that grip and it's open source-ish. It's fine to use for me. Um, this has a push button mag release. If you look at it there, you can see that's pushing in like that and that lets the mag release. Um, this is a prototype, so it has a bit of a janky rubber band dealio here and an extra random screw sticking out there. Um, same for this tape here. Uh, it's covering up a little hole in there that I didn't drill put this uh, trigger pivot pin in, as it's normally supposed to be under this part here, but I drilled it too low, so it's there. And I forgot to put that hole in before I printed it, so uh, it's like this. Um, the plunger is basically like a night finder. Um, it's a printed plunger rod. It goes back and then it has a sliding catch right here that this then pivots and pushes up like that. And there's a sliding catch right there. This rod right here has a plunger head on the end. Goes back, has a catch notch in it, catch goes in. And then you push the slide back forwards. This rod right here stays out. And that chambers a dart up here, which goes into there. And then when you pull the trigger, catch goes up. Plunger rod goes forwards, air goes down there, through there, out of there and then the dart comes out real fast. Uh, I haven't chronoed it yet, but we're gonna do that. Um, I will now bring in the very janky setup I have to hold my phone up. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Alrighty. So here's the blaster. So you can see what I meant about the uh, rod sticking out the back. Um, that might have looked sticky pushing it back in. That's just because I have an arm on each side of the thing that I'm using to hold up the camera, so it's extremely awkward. Um, another thing about this blaster that I haven't mentioned yet is if we uh, hold it out a bit further. It pivots the magwell so you can holster it. So you can dump this in a big holster or a dump pouch. Um, you can top off the magazine through here, or you can single load darts in through there. I'm not sure if I can get that in a place where you can see it. This also gives you a good view of that ram that I was talking about. So with this open, you can see that entire top of the plunger tube. There's the plunger head. And then if we push it forward a bit, you can see this block right here, right here, is the ram. So if we push this forwards, you can see, there that is, and then that goes in there, and then that seals. And you would pull the trigger to fire. Um, this can be pivoted down with the, uh, this is a prototype, so it's slightly janky. 
I need to change the trigger guard. Um, it's held in place by a notch on the trigger guard that just kind of holds it in place. Um, it can be pivoted with the slide forwards or with the slide back. There we go. As you can see, uh, I'm not going to double load it, so I'll push that down. And it's loose enough that that can just come right out, gravity drop. There we go. Let's chronograph it for the first time. One sixty-eight. Now I'll put the mag back in. One forty-seven. That bounced back and hit me in the head. Uh, 164. 165. 171. 163. 167. Uh, is there a dart? Yes, there is. 28. I think I double primed that one somehow because two darts just came out the barrel. 166. And last dart is an AF Pro. Um, all of those darts were uh, these Adventure Force Max ones. Last one's an AF Pro because uh, I just grabbed the darts out of the bin. Let's see if I can get a better view of this shot. Wow, look at me, cinematographer extraordinaire. 161. I think that read. Um, yeah. This blaster lasts really good. Um, so I have some changes to make. I'm going to make this mag release uh, probably slightly longer here and slightly taller, so you can better hit it. I'm going to make it so it uses a piece of elastic right here that probably connects right here at the front of the magwell and goes along the side and grabs onto this at the end. Um, I'm going to fix this weird little hole here. I'm going to try and tighten up this gap in between this side plate and this beaver tail part. Um, and I'm, and I'm going to fix up that little bit of the trigger guard that holds in the foldable magwell. But yeah, this this works real good. I'm real happy with it. Real happy with it. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess I should mention uh, what I used to get that number there. Uh, this is four inches of K25. Uh, and it has 2.5 inches used plunger tube. The plunger tube itself is 4 inches long. The amount that the plunger actually travels in is 2.5 inches long. Um, and that's 1.5 inch OD plunger tube, which is the same size as Lynx or Talonclaw or Calvern. Uh, and this is a 4 inch normal barrel.